Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I'm only on the first couple pages of the George Bridgman book. Um, I saw these images over here. So, like I said, I'm going to go through every single page. I'm going to draw from every single one of them so I can learn. And um, check out how I study the guy. Alright? So, now, Again, I uh, just want to introduce what I'm doing here. I'm sharing how I study Bridgman. Uh, this is not necessarily how one should study him or anything. This is just what works for me. If it doesn't work for you, that's fine. This Again, I'm just, I'm just sharing it. Um, I'm a video game animator. I've been doing it for, I don't know, maybe already 17, 16 years. And I've worked on various projects. And um, I'm just going to show like what's applicable for me and how that applies to my job as an animator and uh, yeah so I'll just dive into it and I'll just let you know what I'm thinking so first thing off the bat what I think what I think is really interesting is the his overall shapes that's what's in my head right now just how things communicate like when you see an hourglass like that right? it's such a basic design for like the shape of a man and the shape of a woman right so if you have a, a bigger upper body like that and a smaller upper body, that's a man. But if you have a, a, a lower, like a, a bigger, you know, lower part here, that's a woman, right? Just fundamentally, I think that's really important. Like, I'm glad that, you know, he does these little drawings. And, anyway, that's what I see. Okay. Let's take a look at what he's doing here. I really like that drawing. This is the hamstring, by the way. He draws it right here. It's real small, but it is there. Look, it's that little line right there. Isn't that cool? I really like how he did that. You see here, um, you see how he drew kind of like a square right there? That's cool. Like if I had to break that down, uh, so I'm looking at it. I'm looking at, you know, the bone.
So what I like about it is that, so this is the mean cap, right? And then here would be the anatomy mean for that top leg here, right? And then um, we have all these little things here. Ultimately, the silhouette, silhouette wise, what we're looking at indeed a square, right? Then the calf muscle here. And what's cool is that it's all here, you know? And here's the kneecap right there. See? And then, and then the anatomy starts there. Get the calf here. Right there. See that? Does it right there. That's so, 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 so cool. It's always nice to see an artist like uh, who knows anatomy, you know, just do these small little drawings. But even in the small little drawings, you can tell he, he understands his stuff, you know, that's why he's able to do them so quickly. And as I'm learning the anatomy and bones and where things go, I geek out over these small little things because it's such a pleasure to see, you know, like, um, I call it suggestions, you know, like they suggest, you know, it's just real quick the way it's done, but it, it's, all, it's all in there. Okay, I'll just keep going.
I like highlighting. I just think it's cool. Helps me uh, clear things up. It's important that, um, for me, that um, I clear stuff up like, like, show you, okay, so that right there, this is um, the pelvis, right, then we get this blob of anatomy, right, and then here's the bones, and we'll have one here too. Well, we need to be careful, well, I need to be careful, it's not to muddy it, you know, like see here, the drawings are clearly like getting a little muddy. So it's really important to distinguish pelvis, anatomy of leg, then a straight line for these bones, and then the calf, tendon, bones, heel, toe, right? And so that's why it's good to use that paperclip method that I was talking about, like how Bridgman draws in paperclips. Like that's how it makes you feel, but it, it's really organized. Like if you go like this, this,
right? So at least now you know why um, these little breaks are there. The, that breaks there for that kneecap part, right? And the bones. This breaks there for the ankles. This says calf, Achilles tendon. This says pelvis. See, I could have used a break there, so I could have done something like that. And this could have been like pelvis, and this would have been the, the glutes, right? You can do that. See, you can suggest hamstrings. This is tendon, heel. So ultimately, like, the more breaks, the better, right? So like, if, if I did an arm, that right there is a deltoid. That right there is a tricep, bone, elbow. Still tricep. Bone. Bone. Maybe I shouldn't erase that. I should just leave it alone. Let me see. This is the most my my undoes will do. Alright guys, you guys have a nice rest of your day. Have a have a great um this day. It's today Friday. Today's Friday. Alright, you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys all Monday. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care, thanks.